Hello everybody, Darnell here. Um, I've just finished version 5 of the desktop control panel. Um, so let me show you how to get that and show you how it works. It is different again. Sorry about that, but some things just made more sense. So first off on your desktop or whatever you're using to run your desktop control panel with, you run this little icon called control panel updater. Let's run that. Wait for a few seconds. It's going to go to the server and get the latest. It's going to update you to the latest version. I'm doing it also in real time, so I just compiled it. And here we go. And it's going to run it for you. So now that's your same version right here. So notice that's 5.0. If I close that and run the icon, it's there now. See, it's going to run to 5.0. So it just updated the version that you have on your desktop. So we're going to now concentrate on the playlist so we're going to go over here where it says please click that and I'll show you how this works so first off there's two types of playlists the playlist with an S is the billboard TV mode which is a uh, text file that's tagged to an image that only will play one URL and never gets out of that mode so that turns your set into like a TV where a channel has been changed and it just stays that way the only way to get out of that mode is to either reset your ad server remotely or um, uh, remove it out of the system and then reset it and it won't come back and it'll just continue to be a regular billboard system. You can update it like that too, put a different channel in or whatever. The second one, the newer one, is the PL or playlist mode. That one will be a text file with a tag image and that text file has multiple URLs inside. So when it finds one of those, it'll play each one of the uh, videos or pictures or whatever you put in here uh, until it's over and then drop back to being a billboard again until it finds that file over again. So I'm going to show you how to do both. So the first thing we need to do, let's go ahead and make one. We need to add some uh, URLs. So let me go get one. We'll go up here to YouTube. I already got something here. Let's get a, a tune. I know that's a problem. Let's get the URL up here. And this is from uh, YouTube at the moment. You can get it from other, other places. Paste that in. First test it by hitting play to make sure it works locally. And not having to be at YouTube. Notice that one does not work. So let's go get another one. That means it can only work here at YouTube.com. So we're going to try something else. And they do that a lot so they can maximize their money. And... Uh, and not do what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and clear that out, put another one in, let's try it. Nope, that one works. So let's stop that, go ahead and add it to the list. Go get something else. Let's try this one. I've never seen that bear before. Let's go get it. Put it in the list. Let's play it, see if it works. Let's stop that. Let's add that one. So now we got two. Now we could put unlimited ones in there if we really wanted to. But let's say we're done with that. So now we're going to go ahead and create the list. Create it. Let's make up some name. We'll just call it Tune. We'll just call it um, My Tunes. Save it. Notice that I put an underscore to separate my words. So that's what you should do also. Don't use spaces or semicolons or uh, commas or sp any of that stuff because those things my software can pick up as commands so we just want to keep it like this it's, it's always a good idea not to use spaces in a name on a computer anyway so let's go ahead and save that the first thing it's going to tell you is your playlist named and this is the whole URL e backslash blah 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 all the way to where I was at my underscore tunes dot txt remember this is saving a text file now the next thing it's going to do is say now open an image to be used for the new playlist file. So we need an image to tag to that. So we say OK. Now we can find an image. I'm just going to pick this one. This has no relevancy, but it doesn't have um, a, a prefix on it. So let's just pick this JPEG, open it, and it puts a little preview in there. Now that it's there, because this is a playlist, now you can save this playlist as a PL. 
Now, you could save it as an S, but it would only take the first URL, because we only have one URL in those S modes or the TV modes. So we'll leave it like this and say Save PL. It takes that uh, the name of that text file and that image and renames that image to this text file. Uh, so now it has the PL in the front, underscore, the name of the text file, dot JPEG. OK that. And that's how you make a playlist with multiple URLs. Now, if we want to make a playlist with one URL, we can do this. Let's go ahead and just highlight that last one and delete that. Now we have one URL in here. We can go ahead and create this list. And we'll call this, uh, how about Tune TV, since that's going to be locked into a television mode because we're going to save it as an S. Save it. So that saves the text file correctly. Then it's going to ask you for the image. We'll take the same image. It's already there anyway. Now save it as an S. Now see it's S underscore tune underscore TV dot JPEG. These two different types of files now when they are seen, one will do something totally different. One will lock the system into a TV mode, which is the S underscore, whereas the other one with the PL underscore, which is for playlist, will start to play the individual URLs inside the file and then kick itself out. Alright? That's about it. Uh, till next time. Bye bye.